Too often, it's not in a lot of the lists of some of our leaders in our society today. But humility is also a very, very powerful tool. And I will tell you, it is hard to be humble sometimes in leadership roles. Let me tell you, in the military, we go overboard. Not on being humble, but making it a big deal. I got to tell you, near the end of my career, every time I went into an auditorium or a, a, a ceremony or whatever to be part of it, they played music when I arrived. The General's March. You know, here he comes. And then there was somebody out there with that big four-star flag. They gave me a gun. I mean, <laughs> wow. I was somebody. I was somebody. But you know, as a leader, you can't look at it that way. You've got to understand that it's all about the position. It's not about the person. And when you confuse the two, and one morning you wake up and you look in the mirror and you go, wow, you know, I am special. It's taken them a while to figure it out. <laughs> but they got it now. They got it. You're in trouble. You're in real, real trouble. Because then... You take on an air of arrogance, usually. And you also believe you're always right. You never make mistakes. And when you convey that to the workforce, guess how many of them are willing to raise their hand and say, but boss, I don't think you've got this exactly right. And those people wonder, why didn't anybody tell me? Why didn't anyone stand up and tell me I didn't have my clothes on before I did this, made this dumb decision? Well, you never conveyed to them that you were willing to listen.